Hello everybody, it's Wendy and I am here today with Jesse James Beads and we are going to make a beautiful bracelet using some memory wire and this evergreen forest bead strand. Um, but first of all, our encouraging word for today is from Martin Luther King Jr. and it is, I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. So I think that's awesome. So yeah, let's all come together in love and unarmed truth. <laughs> All right, so here is the Jesse James Evergreen Forest Bead Strand, and this strand is absolutely beautiful. You've got a lot of silver and this hunter green, which is one of my favorite colors. We've got shimmer going on here and some metals um, and some abalone shell and it pearls. It's just gorgeous. So what we're going to do with this today is we're going to make a bracelet we're going to be using this evergreen forest bead strand. We are going to be using some fire polish beads and the color of these is crystal mint. Okay. We are going to be using some thunder polish in two different shades. This is kind of a smoky, uh, clear slash smoky shade. And this is like a little bit lighter green. And then we're going to be using course the evergreen forest bead strand and then I've got um, one two three four five pieces of memory wire and I've just cut these leaving about an inch and a half I would say or maybe not quite that much let me look here uh, yeah about an inch and an inch and a quarter maybe um, of an opening there this is just regular silver memory bracelet memory wire and I have five pieces that I've cut all the same size here. I have a quick link. Uh, this is a beetle-on quick link. I have a lobster clasp and one jump ring that's a little bit thicker um, that we're going to be hooking some stuff onto. And then of course you're going to need all of your jewelry tools and you need memory wire cutters to cut the wire. Um, if you use your regular cutters, it will tear them up, okay? So just so you know. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our round nose pliers. Let me find mine. That's not them. The round, the Zeron round nose pliers look a whole lot like the chain nose pliers, and I'm always, always getting them confused. But I don't even see mine here. Okay, I'll grab another pair. I don't know where my Zeron ones went. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, piece of memory wire here, and we're going to be rolling a loop. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to have all these pieces. I'll kind of show you what the idea is going to be. We're going to have all these pieces come together and hook on to this ring. And then they're going to hook on to the lobster over here. And we're going to bead everything around and kind of have this big focal area in the middle right here. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to roll these forward. So if you hold your memory wire just like this, not uh, horizontal, but you know vertically like this, and you want your loop to be right about the middle of your wire or your pliers, maybe a little higher. So I'm going to go just a little higher and just roll a loop forward. Now we're going to need to put these on as we do it. So I'm going to see how I've got it left open here. And then I'm gonna take my crimping pliers, and I know this sounds weird, but they have these little ridges, and it's easy to close the memory wire loops with your crimping pliers. So I put the memory wire right in the ridges here, and I'm just gonna close this loop up. Okay, and just press gently you don't want to do it too hard because you don't want it to yeah to go too far past itself and then see how we have that little loop there and we're going to do that with all five of our pieces of memory wire so same place on the pliers if you can you want to try to make them the same size roll that loop around insert it right here on my loop i didn't leave this one as open Okay, and then I'm just going to take these crimpers and grab it and close it right up. And you may have to, you know, press two or three times here to get this closed up. 
sometimes it can be a little bit tricky but it will close now you want to make sure these are all facing the same direction when you put them on that's important okay so we're going up here to the next one these these pliers are not as tight for some reason they don't come together as well as my others do i don't know what i've done with my others i'll have to find them okay and close that right up there's our third one number four right on there make sure they don't crisscross each other it's a little hard to get a hold of it sometimes but I am trying here there we go okay there's four and one more there we go There we have it. Okay, so we've got all these coming around and they're going to hook on over here, but first we need to bead them up. So you may want to get um, some bead bugs work good for this. Another thing that works really good for this is an earring stopper. So hold on, let me grab, because I don't know where my earring stoppers are, just a minute. Okay, so I'm just talking about these little earring stoppers. <laughs> That's all, I'm just gonna grab a few because you can put them right here on the end of your wire and it'll keep your beads from falling off until you're ready to go on to your next thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these beautiful fire polish beads and I am going to just put them on the memory wire, just one after the next. I'm not even going to do anything in between them. They're so pretty by themselves. And I'm just gonna do a whole strand of the, a whole uh, little, wire of these. These are so nice. And I'm doing this on the very first wire. You can do that however you want if you want to mix them or um, if you don't want them to be on the outside wire. I mean you can do any design that you want. But I'm just doing these all the same on this first outside wire. Okay, and you need to get almost all the way around. You need enough room to roll another loop over here. So I think I can fit one more on. And then I'm going to put my little earring stopper on here just to hold these beads on until I'm ready to close the loops up. Okay, so there's one. Now, on the very other side, right here, I'm going to do another full round of these. So the two outer wires will have just these fire polish beads on them. Now we're going to work on one of the two um, next to these. So for the first one, actually I just, I debated between, I didn't know if I wanted to mix these guys up. I think I am. I'm going to mix these fire polish beads. And I'm just going to kind of mix them randomly. So I'm going to do... I do have my glasses on. I still can't see these little holes. I want the, um, the green to be minimal on this. I want it to be mostly the smoke color because... This, these strands are mostly this, but they do have a little bit of this um, kind of teal in them. So I want to pull that in a little bit, but not too much. So I am just going to add on probably 
70 30 maybe so probably 70 percent um the little grayish ones and 30 percent these green but like i said i'm not doing any certain pattern i'm just picking up a few of the grays and then adding in a green every now and then we go okay so I've got these two beaded up on this side and these two on this side now on the middle strand we're going to do these beautiful evergreen forest beads so let's start with this one then I'm gonna do well those kind of fit in there yeah, they do. They kind of fit in there and hold that. So, okay, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do this large hole bead next because it's going to sit next to this rondelle, which will kind of go up inside there. That's good. Then this fire polish. Yeah, that's going to be better. Okay, then I'm going to do this rondelle. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to do the pearl next with the bead caps. Now this sparkly rondelle. Do I want to do another couple of the fire polish? Let's see. If I do a fire polish here, then this guy. Yeah, that's probably going to sit. They're going to sit better. If these larger hole beads, if you have something you can kind of stick in them, it really does help with the way they sit on the wire. Okay, we're gonna do the pearls. Pearl and bead caps. Then another fire polish. Then this large hole bead, and then this rondelle. And that, I think, is going to be good. So let me put my stopper on. I may have a little bit too much wire left over. I may have to add, well, I don't know. We'll see here. Let's go ahead and put the stopper on. Okay, so here's what we've got. Let me get them back the way they're supposed to be. So very pretty. <laughs> very, very pretty. And when you put it on, I don't want to do too much because I don't want all my beads to fall off, but yeah, it's going to be really beautiful. Okay, so now on this other end, what we have to do is we have to roll the loops just the same as we did, but we have an open jump ring on this end, so we don't really have to put them on. Um, we can roll them closed and then put them on the jump ring, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this same thing, rolling in. And just roll in until your loop closes and you want to make sure that it closes all the way because if you don't your beads are going to fall off you don't want that okay so there's that one and i may have to take a few of these fire polish <laughs> these thunder polish beads off don't know these um, little loops on this end, yeah, I'm going to have to take him off, I think. I've got one too many on there. Um, they don't necessarily have to be a certain size. I mean, you want to make them as close as you can get them to the same, but the main thing on this end is just to make sure that your loops are closed so your beads don't get up in there. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I've got this guy still left in the middle here, and it's a lot of leftover. I probably should take them off and put a thunder polish bead on either end. I don't think I'm, yeah, I probably should. It'll just take a second. It gets a little fiddly because you kind of have to hang on to it. Okay, yeah, I can do two there. And then I'll roll this under. And just make sure all of your beads, like I said, are um, back there so they're not 
getting up into the loop. Go ahead and close this up. Okay, so these guys kind of came up into this loop. Let me make sure that one's closed up better. There we go. Okay. All right, so we've got the whole thing together now. Everybody is on the wires. So now what we're going to do, and see I've got my fire polish, thunder polish, main strand thunder polish, and fire polish. I'm going to take all of these little ends here and catch them in this jump ring. So I'm just going to grab it, and in the order that they're in, I don't want to get them out of order, so wait a minute, that's exactly what I'm doing. This guy's first, then the thunder polish, then our main focal strand. Get on there now. It's going to be difficult. It's a smaller hole or smaller loop. You may have to fool with it for just a second to get it on your jump ring. There we go. Okay, and then this other thunder polish strand and my last. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to close this up. Make sure you get it closed good. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to put my, I should have put my lobster on before I close that. Now, shouldn't I have? Huh. I forgot about him. So we're just going to take our lobster and insert it right on here, close that back up, and he will clasp right onto here. So there is our memory wire, half round. <laughs> now you didn't go the full round around, not like a normal memory wire bracelet, but I think it's so beautiful. And it it's like a cuff, so it kind of fits your wrist. Um, like a cuff and you can make them as you know if you need yours longer then just don't cut off as much as I did because I cut off quite a bit but I like mine tight I don't like bracelets really flopping around on me so there it is I think it turned out beautifully really cute you could hang some dangles from here if you really wanted to um, so we have a lot of beads left over let me grab a couple eye pin or head pins and we'll look at we'll hang a couple dangles on there So let's see here. Um, these two would be really pretty. Or one of these, let's do the abalone shell since we didn't get to use it there. So I would do one of the thunder polish maybe, this abalone shell, and another of these. Okay, so then we can just make a wrapped loop. So we would take this 90 degrees and go up and over. And around and then just insert this right here on our our loop just like we did um, the other the memory wire you just you don't want to close it up yet you want to go ahead and insert it right on it's going to be difficult there we go and then I'm just going to grab this and we'll wrap I'm gonna grab my pliers to do that and we'll wrap right around here And then trim off the edges. There's a little snaggle here. Okay, so there's one. Let's see, let's do one more. Um, that's super cute. Let's do, uh, let's do a couple of these guys, these little green ones with this, just like that. Same thing, we're just going to make the uh, wrap loop, so 90 degrees here. Go up and over, rotate, and come around. Put it right onto our loop. Grab it in the bend. And just wrap around with your pliers. Keep all that other stuff out of the way. Oops. Let's 
I don't know, wanting to grip very well there. I'm <laughs> running short on room up here. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we'll turn this guy up. And we have those two. And if I wanted to do one more, I probably would do maybe the fire polish. So we could do our little fire polish bead. And we'll do a little thunder polish bead on the top of it, just like this. Same thing, 90 degrees, up and over. Rotate up, come on around. I'm going to put this one on the other side of the big abalone piece. Let's grab it in the bend. And wrap. So, of course, you don't have to add the little dangles on. I think it adds a lot to it. I think it's kind of cute. You could add as many as you wanted. But I'm going to leave it at three. Trim that off. And then when you put it on, you'll just take your lobster and clasp it on either side of those. If you'd rather them on the top or rather them, I mean, on the top of the lobster or below it. Now I'm having trouble getting it. <laughs> it's hard to do one-handed, but normally I can do a lobster. Okay, there we go. And there you have it. So there's our little dangles. You can leave those however you want them to be. But yeah, I think this turned out super cute. Um, I like the idea of the memory wire kind of making it a cuff because it's stiffer and I just like that. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. Give it a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please, please do. And um, I will have all the links for these products in the description box below the video. So, yeah, very pretty and very sparkly. I'm liking this one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.